first Mishnah in the fourth chapter of Masachet Ohalot. Okay, we're continuing to talk about the transfer of Tuma and whether something can prevent it from being transferred or or incur, or, or or assist or facilitate, as the word would be. So we're talking about a migdal. A migdal is a chest, a big chest. So it's it's big enough that it's not a kli, because it doesn't have the dinner of a kalim. So it's more than forty sa, as you remember from sechet kalim. Okay, but so therefore it is a din and it's a status. A chest, if it's big enough, has a status of an oil. It's essentially, if you have a big enough chest and big enough armoire, it is a status of a structure. So migdal shu omed ba'avir, standing in the open, meaning it's not in a, it's not in a in another structure. It's out under in, under the sky. Okay, the uh, and it has interestingly, the Bartuner explains yesh defanot. It has walls, but it's very very thick. It's not like chests of today. So the wall have have an opening, have space in their thickness. Kagon like chorim amafulashim. Okay? Ptuchim lifnim velachutz. Holes that are mefulash. Mefulash means they go from the one side to the other, the way Raposin draws it right over here. Okay, it has holes. I, I guess they would do it for airing it out or whatever. That's the way they built these migdalim, their big chests. Or right? maybe they built some of them that way. Okay? Uh, so therefore, the Mishnah says, Kalim, and they would stick stuff in it. They, they wouldn't waste any space, so they had a little hole that would, they would keep their pens or their needles or whatever. Kalim, so therefore, Tum Abitocho, if there's Tuma in this chest, okay, you're storing your, uh, human, your human flesh specimen. Kalim Sheba Avyo Tahorim, the Kalim in the thickness, meaning in the walls, are Tahor. Tum Yabi Avyo, if the Tuma got into the walls, into the holes in the walls, Kalim Sheba Tahor Teme Tahorim. So, that, so therefore, the commission is basically saying the holes and the insides are separate entities. They're not the same. Rabbi Yosef, remember, says, says no, mechza le mechza, half out, half in. We don't, we don't paskin, though, like Rabbi Yosi. Mission continues. Now you have this chest in a house, inside the house. So now, tum'ah betocho, and obviously the Dubartinur says the doors of it are sealed. If there's tum'ah in it, habayi tameh, the house is still tameh, but tum'ah babayit, if there's tum'ah in the house, What's in the chest is tahor. Why? As we've learned in the last Mishnah. Tuma likes to leave. It likes to go out. It doesn't like to go in. So therefore, if you are, therefore, if Tuma is inside of it, Tuma is inside of it, the whole house is Tameh. Because Tuma is also in the house. But if Tuma is here, then what's inside of it is not Tameh. Tuma likes to leave. Um... Okay, as long as the doors are closed. Kalim should be no the bein ha'aretz. If you have kalim, if you have small vessels, small utensils between it and the ground. Bein no the bein ha'kotel. It's up next to the wall, so it's between there. Should be no the bein ha'korot, or between that and the court of the beams. Im ye shampoteach tefach tmeim. If there's space between the migdal, if the space here, here it says enjan, but if the space here, or here, okay, or on the floor, is less than empoteach tefach, or empoteach tefach, I'm sorry, if there is a tefach between, then tmein. But imlav, if there isn't poteach tefach, then the kelim there are tehorim. Meaning, if this space over here, or the space under here, or, or, or the space over here is less than a tefach, and there's tuma in the house, then the, the kelim can remain tahor. I mean, if you, you got a little, I don't know, little cup on top there, and there's a tiny space, and you stuck, you stuck it in there, and there's tumah in the house, that's what we're talking about, the case of tumah babayit, the kelim are still safe. Why? The Bartunera says, uh, if there's no poteach tefach, Bartunera says, en sham tefach, have migdal kilavud. This is a very critical halacha term we learned also in, in sukkah. Lavud means it's just like connected, it's like connected to the wall next to it, or the ceiling, or the floor, it's like one solid thing. And the tumah can't, can't enter into there. So you benefit from the principles of Lavud. But the Mishnah says, but Tum Asham, if the Tum is there in the crevices, Habayi Tameh. It can't get in. Tumah can't get in. But if the Tum is here, Tumah can get out. So the whole house then would be Tameh. This is actually a quite complicated Mishnah with a lot, a lot of different interpretations of the Eliyahu Rabbah, of the Tosvot Yom Tov, different interpretations which we're not going to go into because this is Mishnah Yomi. But obviously, you're strongly encouraged to pick up Mar Orachayim to learn the book, learn the pictures, learn Adim and Mefarshim, and go into it as deep as you as you can.
We'll stop here, dedicate our learning to memory of my father, Harav Simcha Ben Yitzchak Kalman. Make it a great day.